Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's important video, we are going to discuss about one of the scenario based question that was asked in Shrinkoni and this was for level 2. So the interviewer shared his laptop and asked to implement this situation or this scenario. So let us get started and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So like I said, the question was to get the sales for your current week and your previous week. Okay, so for now, I'm just checking what is the data that I have so that I can build my view accordingly. So if you see, if I am using uh, you know, uh, sample superstore data and I have uh, data till 2021. So just to match it with my current week, what I'm doing is I'm simply writing a date add function. And this need not be in the real uh, time because we'll have uh, uh, latest data in the view, but because we do not have data here, I'm just trying to, you know, adjust it according to our current year here. Okay. So I'm adding just two here to our order date. Okay. So apply. Okay. And I'm just moving it here. So we have data till 2023. Fine. So I'm now removing this and I'm just duplicating this to get uh, week numbers here. So I'm just getting a week number here. Now for every year, I have week number. Okay, perfect. Now let us write a calculation and build. So first what I'm doing is I'm creating a calculation to find out what today is returning. Okay, so I'm simply using today as a function that is readily available in Tableau, which will give us today's date basically. Apply, okay. And I'm going to take this in the view and add it. So now it is by default year of this. And again, I'm converting this uh, just to show you if I convert this into exact date, we will get today's date. 16 one we are getting. I'm taking week number from this. So I'm going here and converting this into week number. Now, what did we get? We are getting week three. So basically we are in week three of 2023. Okay, so but it is randomly printing it to every year here. That is fine. So we need not worry. Now, according to our requirement, if you see, I need to get sales for my current year and previous week. Sorry, current week and previous week. So if I go here in 2023, so week three, I should get and week two, I should get. This is the requirement. Okay, so now let us try to solve this and I'm going to use or multiple approaches maybe you can also try uh alternate approach other than what i am specifying i am going to use a standard function that is date diff here date difference of i am trying to subtract week part here because we need weeks i am trying to subtract week okay of our current year that we have created uh sorry date add we have written right so date add comma i'm reading today so these are the two functions or two date things that we are working with so i'm considering date add and today as the function let us click on apply and okay so i'm just trying to convert this into dimension because i don't want that to be aggregated and i'm just dropping it right next to this now let us observe here now in 2023 we know that we are in week three so what is the week uh, date difference resulting as or giving us for current week date difference is zero obviously week three minus week three is zero but if i am going back week three minus week two is one week three minus week one is again two so we are getting differences here right but you see there is one challenge here here we are also getting negative values right now i'm trying to fix that and i'm going to just edit this and maybe I'll write it less than or equal to two. The one thing that we all do, I mean, mostly developers. So if you observe here, because I need last two weeks, I'm getting date here now. So what all are becoming true? Week three is becoming true. Week two is becoming true. And week one is also becoming true. Okay. So if I just make it one here for that sake. Now see here. Week three is true, week two is true. But what is the problem? All the years other than this also are becoming true. 
so if you remember we are getting negative values here so that is why the alternate thing that we can do here is we can also write it like this to avoid negative values here greater than or equal to zero simple now see we are only getting current week and previous week okay but i'm going to try an another approach uh, let us see and for this i'm trying to use a new operator called as in operator here okay where i'm specifically telling what all i need okay so date difference in so i need only those weeks whose difference is either zero or one simple if i click on apply you see only these two i'm getting click on apply and okay so i'm just going to maybe we'll keep it or i'll just take this and drop it on filter shelf and consider only true values here that's it we got sales for this too let us remove all of this and i'm going to take sales as my measure maybe convert that into bar chart so this is how our view is so in our current week we have sales of 13700 whereas in previous week we had a sales of 7691 so that is how we can solve this uh, problem statement I request or encourage all of you to try alternate approaches and see if you are able to do. If not, maybe we can try this approach. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope you found this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.